Hi Pisces, welcome to February. So last month I did the readings a little bit different where I had your lucky days, your crystal energy, your color energy, um, which chakras you should be working on, all of that. And I do want to give you that information, but we're going to go back to basics with this reading for February because I didn't want the video to be very long um, since I also want to try to get out some um, love readings for February since it's Valentine's Day this month. And so I haven't decided if all of that stuff will be included in a video for um, YouTube here or if I will just send that out in an email. Um, so if you're on my email list, which actually if you are, you're entered every month to win a free 20-minute video reading. Um, so you can just go to my website to do that. But I only send out one email a month on average, if that. Um, just to say, hey, here's the winner. Sometimes I put little coupon codes in there. So it's not like annoying how, you know, you put your email address somewhere and then you get like a thousand emails a week from someone. Um, and then, or I might post that information on Facebook. I haven't yet decided because I have compiled it all, but it's just a matter of like getting it down on paper and out to you guys. So uh, we're going to just get started with your reading then, and I will kind of ignore the love energies in case that stuff comes up, um, since that'll be in a love reading later. But some of it might come up in this reading, maybe not. I guess we'll just see what happens, but we're kind of just going to look at the February vibe for you guys. Um, before I do that, though, I did want to give you your lucky days and unlucky days. That's the exception to what I was talking about. And your lucky day for February is the 23rd. Your unlucky day is the 13th. So straight out the gate, there are two things that are challenges for you. We have the Eight of, gift, the eight of Discs as well as um, the Art card. Okay, so with this card here... Um, it's discs is just another way of saying pentacles. Okay. It's a very earth energy. And with this one, it's saying everything kind of goes full circle, right? Like there is a never ending cycle of beginnings and endings. And sometimes you're at the top, sometimes you're at the bottom, but what's happening here is in regards to your um, more earthly things like possessions, money, whatever. Um, it's you're starting to come up to the top of that okay things are starting to grow and shift and move to your benefit um but it's challenging to see that because it's kind of going more slowly than you'd like and you do have some fears associated with money possessions job that sort of a thing uh, even with your home sometimes is kind of how that looks now the other challenge that you have here is finding the balance in what it is that you desire. We've got the lion here, and then we have um, this raven eagle bird thing on this side. And basically what it's saying is, if you're trying, you're trying to manifest things into reality, right? We are asking, you know, the heavens, the universe, to provide for us these wonderful things. And again, this imagery of the circle where, you know, it's like, Sometimes things are really good, sometimes they're really bad, but things are, the only thing that's consistent in our lives is change. So positive changes, we're asking for that. And then um, these kind of things are things that will keep us warm. Do you see how there's this fire here that's kind of like radiating? And fire also represents passion and excitement. But as a one with new beginnings that will create harmony, that combined creates a five, okay? And five is like about change, discord, disharmony. Sometimes change is uncomfortable just because it's different. And so they're saying, remember that all of these changes that are coming for you, you might have asked for them. Um, they might not be coming to you in the way that you had thought. You might have said, hey, you know, I really want to be happy. <laughs> okay, well, in order to be happy, maybe we've got to go through some bullshit and get this toxic person out of your life. And so it's hard to really stay focused on these things that we desire and these things that we want. And also we need to kind of balance out our energies, you know, with the imagery of having two things on um, opposing energies on either side. You know, we've got blue here, we've got red here as primary colors, but then also um, a fire energy and air on this side, but then also air and fire on this side, just in different ways. Um, so the point is the balance is needed as well as enthusiasm to kind of keep things going in the direction that you want them to in order to really reap the benefits 
of um, all of these things that we desire. And going back to that discs card, you know, this is all about the little details. The devil is in the details with things. So get really specific about what it is that you're trying to manifest into your life, the goals that you want, um, you know, where you want to be, which direction you want to head. This is very, very important for you. You have to feel that passion because as you know, like that excitement, that enthusiasm helps us to attract the things that we want into our life much easier, much quicker. And so with this lion here, you know, the symbol of strength and um, excitement and passion and, you know, all of these things associated to Leo energies, um, it, he's blue. And blue is about communication. So you really need to communicate the fire, okay, that enthusiasm, that excitement in a very detailed sort of way. But these came up in a challenge position, so it's not going to be easy for you. And then also um, what you're saying, right, with the air sign, what it is that you're communicating also needs to be passionate because it has that passionate red color. So these things are really um, – kind of a challenge for you in the month of February to do, but they are worth doing. Now, the other cards that came out here for you, um, surprise, just kidding, there's no such thing as surprise or coincidence, especially when you are de dealing with the spirit realm, um, nothing is coincidence. They're saying the need to communicate what specifically you want is there. So if you're saying in general terms, oh, I want to be happy, but you're not saying what that, like how, what it is that you need in order to be happy, like what it is that you perceive your needs are to feel comfortable, stable, happy, enthused, then how are you going to get that? It's like, you've probably heard me do this analogy a million times if you've been watching my videos for a while, but it's like, Calling to order a pizza, hi, uh, pizza for delivery, click. Um, so they might know your address. They might not. They don't know what kind of pizza you want if you just said, hey, I want a pizza, and you hung up. Um, they might bring you something you love, but they might also not. They might bring you something you, you think is disgusting, but it's still a pizza, right? And so the universe is saying, be super specific about what it is that you desire. And all of these things should be in relation to what makes you feel comfortable, especially in home like or at your home. Um, what it is that makes you feel stable, what it is that makes you feel like there is room to grow. Uh, so this might be in relation to your relationships, like your family ties, especially if you're married and you have kids. This may also be in relation to um, business or, or work. But where is there going to be room for growth? Things that can nourish you down the road. Gifts that keep on giving. And so like if you're asking for a child, for example, um, specifically, do you want to get pregnant? Do you want a foster kid? Do you want to adopt? You have to be very, very clear about what it is that you want here. This is a very positive card because it says things will be stable and um, there will also be room for growth and for things to be get even more better. Uh, more better is horrible English, for things to get better and um, be really beautiful. They'll be comfortable, but then expanding into better things than you even thought, yet that is only possible if you make it clear what you want with that enthusiasm because wands elicit an enthusiastic type of energy. And so here with the Three of Cups energy in reverse, they're saying uh, you're just not really – you might be asking for what you want. You might have a vision board. You might be thinking about it, trying to manifest it. But that enthusiasm, that joy, that passion as if you already had it now that you need to feel in order to pick up the pace with that just isn't there for a lot of you in February. And so they're saying feeling happiness in like any moment, really enjoying it. So a good example is um, I've got my my mocha from caribou that I love and um, little things like that can just give you a lot of joy and contentment if you use it right. So if I'm sitting here in the morning and I'm drinking my coffee and I'm checking my emails and I'm thinking about all the shit I have to do today, it's going to take away some of my joy from my coffee. But if I just sit down and I maybe close my eyes and I take my sip, swish it around in my mouth. And I'm like, oh, okay, you know what? 
I really love how hot it is. I love the flavor. I love that it's a little bit frothy. I love that there's so much sugar in it. Sugar fuels your brain. And you really feel that joy and contentedness. It doesn't even matter if the joy that you're feeling is for what it is that you desire. It's just like you have to be radiating this energy of happiness, joy, contentment, of love for things. Um above the baseline, which does nothing um, for you, it's going to tip this scale so that things start flowing to you a lot quicker. Um, so it's about being mindful and present in every moment, feeling the happiness and the joy to elicit change with the butterflies here, okay? You see how this flower is like blooming and um, and the hands are, are kind of like creating something, right? And this is a seed here. This is a seed that will grow into a delicious piece of fruit for you. And so they're saying, this is how you're going to create, because we create things with our hand, the outcome that we desire for our life. Okay, so um, they're saying that... You know, holding tight to things that we already have, being afraid to release them, is not actually going to benefit us either in this realm. They're saying it's a good time to kind of clean house, like to get rid of things. Because when we get rid of things or we get rid of people, we're creating space for new, better things to come into their place. And so uh, I don't know how many of you are... Um, have been paying attention to my Facebook page, but about a month or two, maybe two months ago now, I shared a link where you could go and get the, um, what is it called? The Magic of Tidying Up, that book by Marie Kondo, um, through Audible. So if you want to go grab that, it was hands down my favorite book I've ever read. And then somebody said, hey, guess what? Um, this book that you shared with me, it's now a series on Netflix. So Personally, I don't really care for the Netflix series, but the book was amazing and that might help you to do this and to kind of release things with love and therefore have this positive, like loving energy where new wonderful things can come into your life. They're saying this isn't something that should be difficult for you or even anything that you need to say to other people. But what you do need to do um, is to kind of hold your tongue when you have something sort of fierce to say to others this month. They're saying all of these things are what's going to help you to achieve this big end goal. Like the universe totally wants to support you in February and give you all of these blessings. Maybe part of that is because it's for some of you, your birthday month. But th these are the little things that you've wished for, that you've hoped for, right? And so they're saying not only can you achieve those things, but you can get something bigger and better and more beautiful than you even thought possible. But you do kind of need to put your hands up and rely on the spirit world to sort of work miracles in your favor. And some of these things are happening by the scenes, so it doesn't feel like they're coming for you, especially uh, with that Eight of, um, eight of Discs card where we started in the beginning. This is all kind of challenging because it's maybe outside of your range of vision. Sometimes people are, you know, working on things and, and you don't know. Your boss might be, you know, moving people around and creating a new position that you could walk into, which would be a big, huge pay raise, but you don't know that until that position's available type of deal. Um, so they're saying reflection is important. And do you notice how the water here is super calm? You want to get super calm and still. And then we've got all this earth energy again. I wonder how many stones is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's about balance again, bringing in that concept of balance between the earthly plane and, and then our spiritual life as well. So making changes here on earth with our possessions with our relationships in order to create new spaces for better things. And so affirmations that go with this are, I will reflect on all the gifts that life has given me. So you want to express a lot of gratitude for what you already have, because if you're not thankful for what you have, why the fuck would anyone give you more things, right? You keep giving and giving and giving things to somebody and they never say thank you, you're going to stop giving them stuff pretty quick. Um, I'll also quiet, I'll also reflect quietly on any pain or unhappiness. And so, you know, you want to think about this. Where is any pain or unhappiness coming from? Is it coming from a lack feeling? 
because if you if that's the case, that focus on a lack energy resists things that you want to come into your life, which is again why it's important to maybe go through your stuff. Clear some space. Go through your relationships and maybe distance yourself from people who are not good for you. Um, my suffering is in the past, and this is a place to learn from. And so this is another concept here where you want to go, okay, you know what? That was then, though, and this is now. This is 2019. And you know what? This is not 2018 or 2016. This is now. I'm going to create for myself a new reality, and I'm going to be really detailed and specific about what it is that I want. Um, but what I wanted to say is maybe some of you set some New Year's resolutions and, um, you know, they're not going so well. But February 4th or 5th is the Lunar New Year. And so with that, it's like a reset. It's a redo. So um, I feel like, honestly, maybe because I live in that realm, <laughs> um, that the the moon year is actually more of the new year for me than the calendar year. Um, I breathe in, and as I breathe out, bad thoughts leave me. And this is an exercise that I use a lot. I'll kind of like breathe in like a white light through my crown chakra and I imagine it kind of running through my body, picking up anything negative and then I go <sighs> and I blow it out of my body and I kind of imagine all of my negative thoughts or, you know, the things that are pissing me off that day as like little gray bubbles that are just leaving <laughs> my my spirit. Um, and then I accept myself where I am right now. And this is really important because... You need to be comfortable and joyous and happy with where you are so that new, better blessings can come into your life. And so I'm going to switch decks one more time. And they're saying, the alchemy of energy teaches us that death will always yield new life. And so, like I was saying, you know, kind of kind of going, okay, well, mm, this thing, don't really need it anymore. Don't really like it anymore. Don't really want it anymore. Whether that's a job, whether that's a relationship, whether that it is like stuff in your closet. If you say, oh, you know what? I don't really like this, but um, then what am I going to wear if I get rid of everything in here? Okay, well, you know what? You get rid of 20 sweaters you have in there. I mean, how many sweaters can you wear in a week maximum? Seven? So then if you get rid of those 20, make a deal with yourself that you can go and pick up three or four that you really, truly love. And if money is a problem, well, guess what? The universe will work that stuff out for you. There will be a clearance. Or um, maybe you can sell your 20 sweaters online and get enough money to buy those three or four new ones. And so basically, there's no excuse you know, it's it's time to clear space, get rid of anything negative, anything that doesn't bring you joy anymore, and then really live in the joy that exists for you already so that it can potentiate and grow and become, you know, even more big and beautiful than you even thought. And so part of this is um, forgiving yourself. Look at that with the heart chakra energy. And all of this color in the background, this orange, is about your fear. What are you afraid of? Why are you afraid to forgive yourself for things? Why are you um, afraid of what other people think? Why are you not truly loving yourself first and foremost? Okay? Um, so... What you want to do is identify one area of your life where you're angry at yourself, okay? And then, you know, kind of piggybacking on that other uh, message that we picked up where it was like, um, you know what, that was the past. You can do the same thing here. You can say, oh, you know what, that was the old me. I'm not that way anymore. Lunar New Year, hey. <laughs> New birth year, hey, because it's about to be your birthday. So um, forgive yourself for something that you've done. And, you know, you can even tell yourself, you know, back then I didn't know that I shouldn't do this, 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 or this. Back then I didn't know how to manage my emotions, so I acted out. Back then I wasn't sure of what I wanted. And say, so, you know what? But I'm changing that. I'm growing. I'm developing. And I forgive myself for that. Okay, so healing requires you to not only forgive yourself, though, but also others. So um, I would start with self. Love yourself enough to kind of heal, to open up that heart chakra energy with all of this green color. But then also, you're going to want to, because there's a blue color here correlating to the throat chakra, um, maybe say that out loud to yourself. You know, when you make mistakes, hey, it's okay. I love you. You're learning. 
you learned something from this. <laughs> but you also might want to verbally um, express forgiveness to somebody in your life. I feel like there's something else that Pisces need to know here. Oh, and they're just saying um, someone this month is likely to be deceiving you or betraying you in one way or another. Like they're lying to you. And to be honest, there's nothing you can do about it. It was nothing that you did. You didn't manifest this person into your life. Just some people are fucking shitty. And the details are not important, but just watch out for that is what they say. Anything else for Pisces this month? Yeah, they're just like true happiness, joy, like this overflow of bliss is available to you, but you've got to follow the steps. You've got to follow the guidance. And they say some of you just don't believe that this is actually something that you can embrace, that you can live in, that you can feel. And so for those of you that um, don't believe in true happiness, that happily ever after, that joy, that bliss, guess what? You're never going to experience it. You've got to shift that. Okay, you see the circle with the zero? A zero is another circle energy. They're saying eventually you're going to figure this out, hopefully, um, but you can figure it out as soon as February. So why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you want to be happy? Why are you punishing yourself, not forgiving yourself, and saying, you know what, I don't deserve to be happy because I made these mistakes? No. Everybody deserves happiness, joy, and contentment. You have to forgive yourself. You have to forgive others. And then that's where that happiness is going to start to come up from. It feels good to be free from that, right? Okay. Oh, um, also, not forgiving other people. Um, the only person you're hurting when you hold a grudge is yourself. Because other people are, like, realizing, hey, you know what? Um, what you think of me is really your problem. It doesn't affect them. It doesn't touch them. So why are you want to stir it up over and over and keep ruminating on how much you hate someone? All that's going to do is ruin your mood. So lots of stuff there. It's just maybe kind of an uneventful month in many ways, but in certain ways, a huge one for personal growth and development, you know, should you follow this guidance. So happy birthday. I look forward to um, doing your love readings and as well as getting out the rest of that information as far as your color energies, more affirmations, which chakras to work on, blah, blah, blah. Love you so much. and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!